Okay, this is a short, as short as I can do introduction to the Polaroid 250 camera. So to open it, uh, you pull up on this. It opens like this. A lot of people, a lot of photographers, Robert may have done this, be to remove this cover when they're actually using it and you just push up here and pull the cover off. But you can leave it on, it's functional with it on. So when you're in that position, this pulls up like this, that's step one. Step two is you push up on this where it has a little up arrow and that releases um, the bellows and the lens like that. So when this camera was being used, um, the photographer would put it to their eye like this and they would push their fingers back and forth like this to find focus. This is a rangefinder camera so you'll actually see the focus inside of here. It'll always appear as though everything in your frame is in focus. There's a tiny yellow box in the middle of the, uh, the viewfinder that you'll be seeing and that's gonna create a ghosted image and so you're gonna have your real image and then this little ghost image and you want that ghost image to align with your real image and when they're overlapped then you're gonna be perfectly in focus so that's how you take a good picture with it. Um, this is a Polaroid camera so it's gonna choose your shutter speed automatically the aperture is up to you however um, and that's selected here I'm gonna leave this all the way open so you get maximum depth of field. You're also, I, I would suggest just leaving it there unless you're shooting in bright sunlight, then you may wanna close down to a smaller aperture. Um, this dial here is your film speed. So the black and white film you have is 3000 speed. So when you're shooting that, make sure this is on 3000. If you're shooting the color film, that's 100 ASA. So you're gonna to wanna to keep turning this until it gets to 75. There's no 100 setting, but 75 is close enough. And then lastly, there's a dial here, right around the lens, the lighten and darken meter. This big arrow in between is eight times out of 10 where you wanna be. That's gonna be a quote, good exposure. That said, if you wanna brighten your image, you can go ahead and dial it all the way to bright or you can just do incrementally a little bit. Same with darken. Was that the shutter? Um, I mean the uh, f-stop? Well, it, I mean it has a relationship with the f-stop, but it's not the f-stop. I mean this, this is just using shutter speed. It's telling the shutter speed how to change in order to make your image brighter or darker. Um, this is your electric eye, so that's the light meter, so make sure that when you're taking a picture, you're not holding it like this and obstructing the light meter. You always want two hands here. This is the position that a photographer would use this camera in. Again, you're focusing it like that, and you're firing it with this button here. Um, in order to fire, you have to first cock it, so this will click down all the way, and that'll load your shutter, and this will fire the shutter. And then when you've done that, to remove the film, you wanna grab on this paper here. Good hard pull, straight pull, pull very hard, and that will release another paper from back here, and you, then you grab that paper, same thing, pull it all the way out. You wanna wait 30 seconds for the black and white film, and you wanna wait 90 seconds for the color film before peeling it apart. Um, and there's actually four pictures left in here that you're welcome to just have fun with. This is color film, so you guys can play around with it and cool. use those as test exposures to learn the camera a little bit. To load the camera, back here you're going to pull this lever down and then it'll open the back of the camera and take note of how the cartridge the empty cartridge that you'll be finishing is seated remove that and replace the new the new film in the exact way that this cartridge was was placed in and that's about it that's the shortest introduction you're ever going to get to this fucking camera okay this is my cool. favorite polaroid camera ever so enjoy it